Yes, Free Boys TV, myself the tease. What are we saying? Big up dubs, big up Marty. I'm with my man Curtis, he is back with us again. The last time we saw him was in the game against Liverpool, the 3-1 victory. This time it's 4-1. We did one better. Unfortunately, we conceded that goal Curtis, man. Just tell us, tell us your thoughts and how you felt going into this game. I think I was a little bit nervous coming into the game because even though like I know Newcastle has not scored many goals in recent, I was expecting him just to come and play negative football play a really low block. Yeah, and yeah, I was yeah. worried like with action change of how we can actually break and pick that block. Yeah. But to be fair, um, like, you've got to think like Gabriel, the defender, like his stats are crazy. He might be like between six or eight goals this season alone in the Premier League, right? So as he started off with the score sheet, yeah, which is like so so I'm so elated that he's also started off. And then obviously people have been getting on to Kai Havertz, yeah? Because to be fair, he's not an out and out striker. Yeah, we're not sure if he's like a striker or if he's gonna be a left eight or he's gonna be a right wing or a cam. But then like he put the ball away, he scored the goal. And then Saka, his numbers have continued to grow. There was a point where Saka dropped off here yeah? like at Christmas time and I was thinking he ain't gonna reach like his 15 goals, but he's on target to get 15 goals um, and uh, 15 assists. And then look Kibio. My God, like Kimmy, yeah, what a performance today. Goal. And not just defensively, offensively. You know, getting forward, putting through passes in, and he scored, he got on the, uh, he got on the, the score sheet. And the other week, he was getting annoyed him because he should have put head away. Today, he's clearly from the scores. But even defensively, we're not missing. Like, the left back position, I was a bit worried because we've not got Timber. Timber is going to be some time away, and same with Tom Yassi. But fair play to Kimmy, and a couple of times he's coming and played a left back. He's played, he's played quite comfortable. And in terms of, like, I was worried because I said, you don't have an out that goal score up, but we proved it that you know last two seasons we can get goals from all around the pitch. Right. And it's making me feel confident. Like I know the last time out you asked me are we gonna win the Premier League yeah? and I sat on the fence and I said I don't I'm not sure I think City and Liverpool win it. But and I said as long as we're there or there about but honestly each time we got each time we played it's, you know we get solid performances yeah we gotta think about it yeah we went away to West Ham and we actually sorted it. So cleaned up, we cleaned up West Ham cleaned up. yeah bless them away <laughs> Burnley away cleaned up yeah Liverpool at home Palace at home we cleaned up so I know in a couple weeks time we got a couple of easy victories but also you can never overlook any team yeah so I think we've got Sheffield United away in a few weeks time yeah. uh, Monday the 4th I think, I think we obviously we've got we've still got to go with Man United we've got to go to Tottenham we've got to go to Man City I'm, I'm not worried. The Manchester United uh, away game, I'm not too worried. I think yeah. Manchester United they lost, lost... They lost against Fulham, by the way. They lost 2-1. <laughs> Manchester United fans come at me, yeah? Manchester United fans, you lost 2-1 at home to Fulham, yeah? So you can't chat to us. Yeah, you can't chat to us, yeah? To be fair, we've got, I think it's at the end of March, we've got Manchester City away, which can be difficult. But the thing is, we don't necessarily need to win that game. Ideally, it would be good if we win, but we can come away with a draw. And the thing is, we're playing so consistent at home, uh, and away. I know we've got a couple of interesting pictures coming out. Is it like, I think we've got, got Brentford at home, we've got yeah. Brentford at home in the beach time, and yeah, I think we've got Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea at home. That's but Chelsea at yeah. home may get moved because if they, they've got an FA Cup game, I think midweek. That's so it, yeah. Honestly, a lot of tough pictures have, have come and gone. Stay behind the Don't boys. Don't forget, there's a final tomorrow, Chelsea. I'm not worried about Chelsea <laughs> and they've got a couple of minutes. I don't know about Arsenal. But honestly, stay behind the boys. Yeah, let's have play. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Of course, let's continue to of game, course. Still a long it, way to go, right? Take it game by game. But honestly, yeah. who knows? We might be able to do it, guys. Trust and me. Shout out to the Free Pointers TV. Yeah. Hey. Shout out to the team. Is it Dubs? Yes, Dubs. Dubs and Marty. Oh, yeah, okay. make, sure, make sure, Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you, Bob. Bob. Curtis, it's so great to have you back on here on the Free Boys again. Listen, man, it seems like you're going to be a regular here. I don't, want to, get, don't want to get ahead of myself, but... Yeah, see you in the next home game. Stay, stay blessed. Come Big on, you guys. Come, come on, on. Come on! Come on, peeps. What were you waiting for? Like, share, subscribe to the Free Pointers.